Hello, Floss Tube. I'm Terry. And I'm Jamie. And, and we're, we're the, the Cornhusker State, State Stitchers. Stitchers. Today is Saturday, April 24th, 2021. 2021. <laughs> Floss Tube number 16. Yep. Had to check because it's been a while. Yeah, it's it has. been a few weeks. Yep. We appreciate you guys bearing with us while we had to delay a week. So, Jamie got sick. Yay. Just a really bad cold. Yeah. Not COVID. No, not yet. <laughs> Yet. <laughs> Hopefully never. No, it's just a cold, but, you know. Knocked her on her butt for yep. a good week. Yep. So we're back. Yes. So let's get started. Let's do that. Okay, great. <laughs> okay, so we had Easter since the last yeah. time we recorded. Yep, it's been a while. Yep. Um, Steph and the boys came over, and you and Jim, and then Hampers, my husband and I. just hot dogs, hours. yeah. The boys brought over some little eggs. We did some mini Easter egg hunts, yep. and that was really fun. Yeah. They had I, a lot of fun. Had a good time. The weather was nice. Yep. And then... And then winter hit again. <laughs> right. Yeah, we got some snow. Right. It didn't stick around for too long. It stuck around all through the night, but I had to bring in my... I didn't tell you this. I had to bring in my rose, because I haven't planted my rose yet. I bought it last year. I haven't planted the, it the yet. The beginning of last yeah. year. Yeah. Beautiful rose. Mm -hmm. Anyway... It's the only thing that survived because I forgot to protect everything. Um, so I had to bring in my rose every night for like four or five nights. And there was just a rose sitting in my living room. It was There's great. Nothing wrong with that. <laughs> so far it's still living. Um, and then my husband and I, we had our 10 year anniversary last week. So that was really fun. Um, he's a sweetheart. He's definitely a keeper. He can be romantic. He can be. He can be nice. Yep. So he, he told me not to tell anyone that. <laughs> So here we're going to tell everybody. So, um, He sent me a bouquet to work, but it wasn't just a normal bouquet. He actually took a picture of my bouquet at the wedding and had the florist duplicate that. Um, sent me some cookies. Mm, we've got this place called Warm Cookie here. Oh, it's kind of shameful because they're literally across the street from work. And it's probably a good thing that I don't call them very often. Yeah. And then he recreated the top to your wedding cake, mm -hmm. too. And had the, it was the same lady who baked mm -hmm. the first one, rebaked the top of her wedding cake. So it yep. was really sweet. Yeah, so we went to dinner and then <clears throat> got home and mom had come over and she decorated everything up, used some of our wedding stuff that we still had, which I didn't even remember we still had. We found them in the basement. Interesting story. I have something else to show you that I found in the basement during that trip. But it was a it was a fun night. Her he husband sent me a text and said, um, "Jamie's going to invite you over for for cake afterwards." It's like <laughs> I'm sitting in her kitchen trying to get everything separate or decorated, and she's I'm like, "Okay." Yeah. And then she calls me, "What you doing? Nothing. <laughs> just, just hanging out. Do you want to come over for cake? <laughs> yeah." <laughs> My favorite part was I asked her that, and she's like. Okay, so how do you want to do this? I'm like, I can just come over and pick you up. I was distracted. I was trying to count candles for the top of the gate. It takes a lot to count to ten sometimes. One, two. <laughs> anyway. It was a good night. Yeah, we had family. Um, Dad wasn't able to be there. He was on a trip. Mm -hmm. But it would have been fun if he had been there. But it was still enjoyable. Yeah. And then I got sick. So... Yeah, yeah, that was like the day after, wasn't it? I had I got sick that night. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Happy anniversary to you. Yeah. Sorry, honey. <laughs> but dinner was delicious. So yeah, I, I took the. She had little decorative balls, these little round, like crystal marble. Ball kind yeah. Of, yeah. I put it all over her table in her kitchen, and then I took a <laughs> couple of handfuls and threw it inside of her bed. And I never got to hear how that turned out. <laughs> Do you want to explain why you did that? Because there's a story there, too. That's oh, that's the, a fun story. <laughs> the, this could take a while. <laughs> so, in my old sewing room, before I knocked out my wall, her husband had come over. Jamie and I were sewing, and we were making corn hus corn, cornhole bags. Cornhole bags. Yeah. And we were doing it with real corn, uh, the little hard corn kernels. Yeah. And... I wasn't watching him, and we had we this, left him unattended. Yeah, we had this ten pound bag of oh, corn yeah. kernels, corn feed. Yeah, oh, it was hilarious. And I look over, and it's like, "What are you doing?" He's like, "Nothing." Okay, so they left, and I start finding corn kernels everywhere, everywhere. And this went on for like a year. Every time I opened a drawer, or yeah. something new, I would find a corn kernel. They were in the curtains. They were behind the pegboard. They were in drawers. Yep. They were in projects. Yep. So 
I got my new sewing room up and going and I started unpacking stuff. And I looked down on the floor. Granted, everything had come out of this room. Yeah. It was gutted. There's a corn kernel on my floor by my closet. <laughs> you have got to be kidding me. So I paid him back and I put all those little beads in his bed and inside of his pillow. Yeah. Luckily I figured out the right pillow. <laughs> <laughs> you mean I was mine's on the clean side. Yeah. <laughs> so that was fun. Yeah, that was that's still a story. So but he it, he wouldn't tell me how it turned out because he didn't want to give me the satisfaction of it. Of course not. <laughs> but no. I was satisfied. <laughs> It was a good time. Okay. Should we do questions? Let's do questions. Um, hopefully you guys will bear with us today. I think it's mm -hmm. going to be kind of a long video. I'm going to go over some of my mania plans. And yeah. I guess we never even discussed if you had mania plans. We can get into that. Okay. We'll get into that. Let's do questions. We'll do questions. Judy asked, can you talk a bit more about how you get into a block of the month quilt club? That is um, a lot like cross stitch when you do your... Monthly, like monthly clubs. Monthly clubs through like Fat Quarter Shop. But yeah, if you just have your um, local quilt store or even like Fat Quarter Shop, they do block of the months. Yes. I'm stuttering through this. And <laughs> so most designers have some kind of a predetermined block of the month that they do. Um, some of the ones that we've done in the past are a yearly block of the month. So we know they're coming. Um, so a lot of the quilt shops that we subscribe to, we get their emails and they show us what block of the months they have planned and what they have coming. So you just, you sign just, up for them? Yep, and subscribe to it, and then every month thing. once it starts, they send you your block. Mm -hmm. And you it's as simple as Googling, like, 2021 block of the months. Yeah, you can subscribe to any quilt store out there that's, that's got an advertisement. Yep. Yep. Fat Quarter Shop has a great <clears throat> number of them. Um, Fabric, Essential, Fabric Essentials in Kansas. I know they're an online shop. They do a lot. Um quite a few yeah. yeah your local quilt stores a lot of the times they'll have a, a sheet set up that explains the block of the months that they're doing so speaking of which sad news i read that our favorite quilt store is being mm. sold so yeah. country traditions and fremont is being sold so if anyone wants to buy a quilt store yeah <laughs> we don't know what's happening to it or with it or if it's gonna remain a quilt store hopefully they'll keep going yeah. with their retreats yeah so that did happen. I forgot about that. Yeah. So, <laughs> block of the months. They're fun. Just look for them. Let's see. Bear with me. You know, technology. <laughs> it just disappeared. <laughs> <laughs> you take after your dad. You touch a computer and everything goes away. Usually it's not that, Kate. Okay. Um, Deb asked, where is Valhalla? And we actually had a couple ask this. I like her comment, though. So she entered into the um, giveaway that we'll talk about later. <laughs> Where is Valhalla? Can I hop on my bike from middle of Nebraska or will I croak? <laughs> I will croak. Are you on me to answer? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so Valhalla is here in Lincoln. And it's around, if you're familiar with um, Lincoln, it's around the 48th and Hartley area. 48th and Fremont kind of area. Yeah, in United Place. Yep, it's called Valhalla Bee Farm. I think Valhalla... Bee, bees Lace... Honey and more. Yeah, something like yeah. that. It's a. It started out as a um, bees. Bees. Yeah, they sell bees. They sell honey. Fantastic honey. Oh, I love their honey. Um, and I know that she's very interested in lace and cross stitch, and she does a couple other things. I can't remember what it's called right now, but fantastic work. So part of her job is is the quilt side or the cross stitch side of it, and her husband does more on the bees, but she does all of it too. Yeah, it's a great place. Yeah. Um, okay, so I touched the computer and things got crazy, so it's going to be a second. Susan, let's see. No, that wasn't a question. I apologize. Peggy asked us how long we will be at the cabin to retreat. So next Just a couple of days is all. Yeah, next week we're going to go to um, Mahoney in our area. We got a cabin rented and we're just going to hang out and do some quilting and we might do some cross stitching but focusing on the quilting and some hiking yes yep. i'm taking bandit so we'll yep. be taking the baby the baby <laughs> my youngest pupper and then somebody else asked where valhalla was uh -huh. oh deborah asked she says she's a self-taught quilter 
What do you mean by starching your pieces and why do you do this? So, Jamie and I are both self-taught quilters mm -hmm. also. So, way to go. Yes. Keep um, it up. <clears throat> this is something we basically just learned from Kimberly at Fat Quarter Shop, who in turn learned it from... Lisa Bonjean. Lisa Bonjean of Primitive Gatherings. Mm -hmm. So what they do is that they just take a can of spray starch and totally drench their fabric and then leave it to dry like overnight. Mm -hmm. And it just makes it really stiff and easy to control and easy to cut. And, and it's just your standard off-the-shelf um, fabric starch that you can yeah. get for laundry and stuff like that. Yeah. So, There's different holds. You just got to figure out what works for you. Yeah. We just started doing it. I think I just started doing it on my um, Coriander Christmas and mm -hmm. it's a life changer. Yeah, it really helps because it, what it does is, first off, it pre-shrinks your fabric. That's never really been a concern for us. We wash our quilts. It's not that big of a deal. But the idea behind it is you don't get a lot of the waving. Um, the fabric is more stable because it's already pre-shrunk. And when you're um, ironing it with steam, it's shrinking also unless you've starched. So different things like that, it is stiffer so it doesn't warp as much. So, and it really presses in your seams very well. It, yeah. Yeah. It's an extra step. We don't do it on everything. Mm -hmm. We've been doing it here on the other couple quilts that we're working on. But as we see fit, we do it. Mm -hmm. Yep. And we're just kind of experimenting with it right now. Yeah. But see I'm enjoying like. it. Yes. And then Marilyn asked where I got the Nebraska travel poster. That's the one that I showed last week. And I... I'm incredibly sorry because I'm probably going to butcher this name, but Luba Davies Atlier? Atlier on Etsy. So we will be sure to link that below. Um, and we've mentioned it on a lot of our videos and it has been linked on a lot of our videos, but we'll link it again. Yes, absolutely. And if I'm not mistaken, that's everything because we talked about that already. Yes. Okay. okay. No more technology. I'm ready. Other than the camera we're showing. So, whatever. Okay. So, I mentioned that you looked a little lost, so I was just going to keep was, going. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> um, when we were <clears throat> in the basement opening up boxes we haven't opened in years, I found something. So, the last couple cross stitches I've shown finished aren't all of them. I found this in the, in the basement. Came with this mat. And we were talking about it. I think it even came with the frame. If this not, is we got one. One of your first first five cross mm -hmm. stitches, isn't it? Yeah. That you ever did. Yep. Are you guys surprised it's a horse? <laughs> <laughs> but I found that. I thought you guys would like to see it. It's yeah. pretty fun. That's cute. Yep. Okay. <clears throat> I have a fully finish. This is. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> this is Scar Scarlet House. I was not prepared for this. We're not prepared. This is a patriotic scissor pillow. <laughs> or pillow. One moment. Yep. I don't think she's even in the right book. I don't even think I'm in the right book. It's a day. You... She's looking through the... <laughs> oh, look. It's right up here. <laughs> you don't do a video for three weeks and you can't remember Forget anything. Forget how. All right. Patriotic scissor pocket. By? by the Scarlet House. Yay. So instead of doing a scissor pocket, I did it as a pillow. And I just need to add, I want to add like a little colored flag, or not a flag, but a star button there. like mm -hmm. a, <clears throat> Maybe a blue. What fabric did you do it on? I did it on, that's my 2020, December 2020 fabric club by Color and Cotton called Warm Sienna. Mm -hmm. You changed your colors too, right? That's 32 count. I did change the colors. Just to what she had in her stash. Yeah. And if anybody is, wants the colors, they're very similar to the original, but I can... How'd you get it so stuffed? Know. I stuffed. This is fantastic. Yeah. I got I got a little stick and I was jabbing. My husband was in my sewing room <laughs> messing and trying to rewire my iron and I was getting irritated. So that little Stop puppy got it. stuffed good. <laughs> and then this is just a twine that you found too, right? Yep. yep. And then ribbon right here. Mm-hmm. Cordy. So there's two fabrics. There's the red fabric and then the blue fabric. And then the cording. And I think Yay. I said that was my first time ever doing a pillow. So I, love I, I was pretty pleased. I love how that's wonderfully firm. That's fantastic. <laughs> Keep your mind out of the gutter. 
<laughs> All right, moving on. <clears throat> I also not fully finished, but I did have a finish this week. Um, I can't remember who the pattern is by, but I did finish my butterfly. Isn't it pretty? This is um twenty eight count doubloon by picture this fu- picture this plus fabric. I picked all my own colors. I guess technically the black is what it's supposed to be. <laughs> <laughs> Every but, time you say doubloon, I keep thinking the play, the play, the play. <laughs> so got that done. That was hey, fun. You guys are old like me, and you remember that show. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're all by yourself. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Okay, whips. Whip, whip. Okay, I got my May Sampler by Cottage, Country Cottage Needleworks. And I am a little slow getting going on this one. But I did change the blue that it was called for. That I changed what was called for to cloud from whatever it was, which was dark-er. <laughs> Guys, we're great on our descriptive words and stuff today, but that's really pretty. I like it. Bear with us. Some of this may have to get cut out. Yeah, so <laughs> that fabric, um, she's in the Fat Quarter Shop Club, so that's the provided fabric, 32 count, beautiful beige linen. By which help? Yep. And um, then I worked some more on my Uber flag. By the Bank Creek. By the Bank Creek. And this is on 28 count Monaco yep. that we dyed. So I'm sort of a blue. And we did not take any notes when we dyed all these fabrics. And now I'm just down to, to filling in the flag. So you'll fill in the blue and then all your stripes of red? Yep. Oh, I love it. So pretty. And then you'll I'm, notice a theme here. Yeah. Um, I'm in a this is stitch hull. along. This is hull? Yeah, you yeah, didn't have this. Okay. <laughs> I'm in a stitch along with... Um, Sambury Becca Stitches. at Sambury Stitches, Sweet Land of Liberty, and that is by Cherry Hill Stitchery. Thank you. <laughs> I haven't and started this. I I did really good for a couple of weeks, for a couple of days, and then I just I haven't touched it again now for about a week. But it's so cute. That's fabric. Really good. I don't know. It's a coloring cotton. I'm sure. I don't know which color, but it's color and cotton. We're consulting the book. It is Prairie Dust by Color and Cotton, my September 2020 fabric club, 32 count. Mm -hmm. And so she got distracted on this one with this one. Yeah. I wanted to get back to my land that I love. I told you guys I was going to be concentrating on it. So I did. I wanted to do just a few stitches. Well... That was a week ago, and I haven't stopped. And I just, I'm so infatuated with this cross stitch. It's coming. Hold on. It's getting big enough that I have to fold it so you can see it. And I'm not really far on it, but I, since you saw it last, I did the eagle and the little basket that he's standing on, and then I started on the strawberries. But it, I love, love, love working on this. It is so much fun. And, um... You remember I mentioned that it's on the ten roof that she called for in the book, but it turned out to be a mistake. But I had too much going on to take it out, so I kept going. Um, this color here, I had to change. It was originally this color, and it blends into my fabric too much. So I changed it to a darker green, and I think it's turning out really cute. I don't know if I wrote that down anywhere, but I've mm. got the flosses in my bag. <laughs> <clears throat> That's pretty. Oh, it's so, so, so pretty. I love it. I'm just having the best time stitching on it. Yep. So you should be seeing that again, I'm sure. Is that all you had for whips? That's all I have for whips. Okay. So I had a few whips myself. You know, being three weeks in, I changed gears like crazy. So I started... Working on Stars and Stripes Forever by the Bank Creek. And this is where I got to. Excuse me, Mama. <laughs> I love that. Yeah, I do too. This is 28 Count Coffee Tea Dyed Monaco. That we coffee tea dyed. 
I had started this for Mania 2020, and I had only had like three of these colors in here and an R. So, yay! I know you can't really see that, but I just need to like it. And then I got distracted, and I started working on the Blessed Bee by With Thy Needle and Thread, Brenda Gervais. We are, I'm doing the call for colors, but I'm doing it on Brit Dyed Coffee Tea Deck, or Brit Dyed Monaco, 28 count. And that's where I'm at there. Also at 2020 Mania Start. I only had like three or four lines of the, the roof done. I love her patterns because you basically, you do the vines and you're across the entire pattern. Mm -hmm. And you can stitch on anything at that point that you want to. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Then we did um we had a Zoom session a couple weeks ago with Julie at Reflections Framing and Stitching. They have a Saturday Zoom session. So they've invited us and we hop on every couple of weeks. So that Zoomies, I started or continued working on my Shadows horse. I just need Mm -hmm. It'll be a while before it looks like this. I've been doing it on 25 count black Lugano. Two over one half stitch. You've come in quite a ways. Quite a long... <laughs> I'm just going to stop. <laughs> <laughs> I added a little bit more black over here, the gray and the blue, and then that little thing right there. So, the black's messing with the camera, but... Making some progress on that guy. And then I did have a couple new starts. So this one I started actually before our last video. I just didn't have enough to bring it and show you. So this is my Mystic Stitch Pattern, Home of the Brave. I'm doing it on 25 count, easy count, Lugana. In a scroll frame that I bought from Valhalla. This is a case creation scroll frame. And there's my start. Approximately 500 stitches. Wow. Two over one tenth stitch, but that's it. It's all in black. That, there's nothing else to it. But I'm enjoying the scroll frames. Um, the biggest thing with them, I can stitch two-handed on them. However, they're not very portable. So I'm struggling with not being able to pick up a project and do it whenever I want so, worked on this one just a little bit more. And then I did start this one. <laughs> this is my Beauty and the Beast. Didn't get too much on it. I think I got about 200 stitches. This is in a roll of frame, scroll frame, on 14 count black. And that's what I got done. Now that is brown, so it is called for. So that's kind of throwing me off a little bit because I feel like it should be just black and bits of blue. Mm -hmm. But there's definitely brown in there. That is Belle. Yeah, which part of that? Right okay. here. So started right in the middle. You've really started doing a lot of full coverage. You're mm -hmm. enjoying that, aren't you? I am. Getting back to my roots. Yeah, with the dimensions, kids. Yeah. Those were all full coverage. And then um, I did start another one, but I'll bring it next time. I thought I had enough new starts, but I decided to just go ahead and I had a few kitted up. I'm like, I'm just going to start them, and there'll be a whip at that point, and then I can just put them in the rotation. This is Outlander. I started this yesterday. Doesn't particularly have a name. Bought it on Etsy. I am doing it on 40 count Jamie's Kilt Fabrics by Stephanie. And there is my start. Do you know who you bought that from? I got this from Julie. No, not the fabric, though. The fabric. pattern oh. itself. Um, it does say... It does say, hold on. It does not say. <laughs> I'll be sure to link it. Yeah, we'll figure it out and put it below if anybody's interested. So this is Claire right there, her outline. 
Yes, I can see that. <laughs> <laughs> but those are my whips. And new starts, because I started things. Yeah. But now they're officially whips, and they just go in the pile. I also, in case you, if you noticed, I bought a binding machine. So I went through and I bound all my Etsy patterns. I did that this week, too. Yeah, that's great. That's... So I ventured out into making some floss rings. So I made the little snowman. And I made that for you. Oh, thank you. Because <laughs> you love snowmen. I do. And then I made a little butterfly. That's fitting considering I finished the butterfly today. I know. You don't get my butterfly. No. That's, okay. uh, that's for me. But that was just something I was playing with. Yep. Those are cute. Those are really They're cute. Fun. Okay. So fun. Those are all the whips and finishes. Okay. Right? Yes. Um... Talk about mania. Yeah, I do have a, a real quick haul. Do you want to do oh, that yeah, before we... Oh, yeah, let's do that. Okay. So, I had a couple of these in my stash. I'll try not to knock things over. Um, so, let me show these real quick. One, Only one of these is haul. This is Dimensions Gold. And this is called... I don't know. Hidden and Spirits. So I think this was in your stash. Yeah, and, and you then gave I gave it, to, it me. to you. Yeah. Yeah. Did I ever show my Indian that I finished? That... I don't think so because I was thinking about that as... Okay. Yeah, I, I did one and I won second place at the mm -hmm. at the county fair. Yeah, so this was in my stash. I love it. I wanted another one. So I found this one. This is called Sacred Connection. I thought that was pretty fantastic. On the back of, so that was also found in your stash, and I nabbed it. <laughs> so then I saw this one on the back here. I'm like, hey, I need to find this one. And it's not in print anymore. Couldn't find it. Then I found it on eBay. Really? And I'm like, no, I don't need it. It's fine. I don't need it. And then I looked again, and it was still there. And I'm like, no, it's fine. I don't need it. And then I bought it. <laughs> so, that there it is. And that's not what I paid for it, but that's what they had on the... And everything's in it? Yep. Gold collection. Gift of the Eagle Feather. It's a complete kit. You can't see it, but that's a complete kit in there. So I have all three now. I'm Great. Excited. Are you going to work on them? Yeah. When? I don't know, but I will work on them. So I think that's all we really had for haul. I mean, I did get the scroll frames a few weeks ago. but Okay, so next we're going to talk about Mania Plans. Technically, we have one more video before May. May, start of Mania, but we're going to be at the cabin, and we didn't want to take all this stuff up there. Yeah. So we've talked about Mania a little bit and kind of what it is, but for us, it was a chance to start 31 whips, and, or 31 starts, and work on them every day of the, of the month. Because we're crazy. We are crazy. <laughs> Maniacs. Mania. Yeah. Yeah. Um, because Jamie can't stop starting things, no. so... For Mania, she decides, let's do 31. Mm -hmm. Let's do it, Mom. No. Yeah, let's do it. So I start kidding things up. She's like, okay, I'm going to do that, too. <laughs> well, she kidded my stuff up, so I had no choice but to start yeah, it, right? Yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah. Um, so we are focusing on whips this year. We're not doing 31 new starts each. Right. Um, my Mania plans are pretty simple. I've got a decision roulette wheel, so that's an app on my phone. And I put all of my whips in there, and I'm just going to spin the wheel every day, pick a project, and work on that one. So, I don't know what's coming. I'll show you when it happens. Okay. If you want to talk uh, about yours. What I'm going to do is I'm taking all my whips, well, 31 of my whips from the last two years, because I've only been doing Mania for 2019, 2020. Mm -hmm. So, this will be my third year doing it. I don't like having that many whips, so I'm going to take my whips from the last two years and I'm going to do just a little bit more on them each day. So I have 31 projects. I'll do a little bit on each one every day. Yep. Hopefully. <laughs> That's so, the plan. And you're not going to do it in order, right? I'm not going to do it in any particular order, but I'll just, I'll go through it. I'll show you the pattern. I'll show you what little bit I have done so far, and then hopefully at the end of May, I'll have a lot more done. So my first one is Knee High by the 4th of July by Hands On Design. And this is where I'm at. 
That's a fence post. That's a fence post. 28 count. Monaco. Copy T died. Do we... Do you even want to go through the fabric right now, or do you just want to go through it when we show them as whips? Yeah, let's just go through this real quick without, because most of it is 28 count Monaco, because yeah. yeah. that's where we started. So. If, if there's anything in here that you need to know before our next video when we start talking about it, let us know, but we'll go through fabrics and stuff in our next videos. And if anything is not 28 count coffee tea dyed Monaco, we'll try and mention that. Um, the next one is America, and I'm not sure who did this one. Um, that, if I'm not mistaken, is Bobby G. Barbara Smith. Barbara Smith, but I think she's got, I don't have my phone. Okay. But I think she's got another name. Okay. And this is where I'm at on this one. And Maine Moose Mom Stitcher mm -hmm. did hers, and it is gorgeous, so I can't wait to get back into that She one. goes so fast. She stitches so fast. Yeah. Um, the next one is Country Cottage Needlework Sunflowers in Summer. And when I started this one, I got a little string hanging. <laughs> um, I didn't like the color of the sunflower. And that is actually the called for color. But I'm going to rip that out and I'm going to put something that is a little more sunflower in yeah. there instead of It's pink. pretty pastel -y. Yeah, pink pastel. and yellow. Yeah. I mean, sunflowers should be gold and brown and yeah. bold and um, country cottage needleworks be thankful and hopefully you guys will see something that you like that you'll go out and get consider this a part of your enabling session and this is where i'm at on that one now remember all these projects i only worked on for one day during mania mm -hmm. so you're not going to see a huge start on any of these country cottage needleworks bless our home I really like their patterns, obviously. <laughs> and yeah, this is where I'm at. Nice. I have a tendency to always start at the bottom. Okay, and then I have Little House Needleworks. It's not the daughter. Sunflower in. I love this one. And this one must have been a weekend start. Because <laughs> I got border down on that one and none of these are ironed no yeah you I'm, can tell i wasn't going to take the time to iron them i pulled them out of the bag and okay the scarlet house american mm -hmm. farmhouse i love this one and i can't wait to get back to this one i read a comment somebody was liked that one and she's like no maybe i shouldn't and then we kept talking and she's like yeah okay now i'm gonna do it <laughs> yes please do them all Okay, so I'm not very far into this one. Do you even know what's the top and what's I, the bottom? No. I don't. <laughs> that's either the bottom or the top. Well, I usually always start at the bottom, but that's not the bottom. It's kind of the middle. So, it can't be the quilts. It's got to be the windows in the house. Or is it the barn? Or is it the barn? Yeah. Anyway. That's it. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. Oop, there it is. Scoop. <laughs> <laughs> That's a fun commercial. Okay. Country Cottage Needleworks Liberty Lane. Jamie showed hers the last video, I believe. Mm -hmm. And I do think that I'm doing the same color changes you did. Although you can't tell it at the moment. But that's where I'm at. I don't remember if I mentioned this last video or not. But um, the color changes that we're doing are replicating um, Priscilla. Priscilla and Chelsea. Her, she's got them on her blog, so we just looked at those, and we're replicating those. Yeah. Okay, then I'm going to be working on Farmhouse Christmas, and I don't have all the patterns out here. It's a series of nine patterns, but I started with Grandma's Quilt, which is the center one, and I don't know if I said it, Little House Needleworks. Hopefully I didn't flip that all the way around. Yeah. <laughs> um, this is Close. where I'm at on that one. Of course, I did the quilt part, but it is in the center, and it's fun. Sure, that's why you did it. <laughs> that one kind of got put on hold because I didn't know if the fabric was going to be big enough. Jamie measured it for me and gave it to me and said, yeah, it's big enough. And then she said, no, wait, don't do any more. It's not big enough. <laughs> it's back when I couldn't measure anything. And then she came back and said, yeah, it's big enough. Then I started today. Are you sure it's big enough? Well, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I have sick brain now. Yeah, that's your excuse. Yeah. 
today? Um, trio Life Samplings by Jan Alexander. Penny Treat. In case you didn't catch that, that was Tree of Life. What'd I say? I don't know. It just sounded like Trio Life. Tree of Life Samplings by Jan Alexander. <laughs> Penny Treats. I always want to sing Penny Lane by the Beatles when I hear that. <laughs> I don't know. I am dating myself. Some somebody's gonna get that. Somebody's gonna understand. I'm not sure. I had it correct. Okay. You start in the bottom, right? Yeah. There you go. That is just backwards on there. <laughs> that's that's my excuse. Oh. All right, this one you saw a couple of weeks ago. I'm gonna get back on it. Um, cereal bowl collections of sampler lessons lesson one. Plum Street samplers. And since I showed it a couple of weeks ago, I got a couple of blocks done here. And that was it. Oh, this one's cute. Um, Heartstring Samplery. Baby, it's cold outside. And this is on 32 count. You have to Roth, show this part. Belfast. Okay. And that's where I'm at on that one. It looks so much smaller. It is so much smaller than it looks. Yeah. When other people do it, it seems really big. Mm -hmm. Anybody's counting, there should be 31 here. Let's this is my favorite. I can't wait to get back to it. Little House needle Needleworks, Lakeside Lodge. I think I've said a hundred times that I love bears. Mm -hmm. I love teddy bears. I love black bears. I haven't come face to face with one. I don't want to, but... That's where I'm at on that one. A vertical pattern. <laughs> That's where I'm at on that one. You know, it kind of goes like this. <sighs> <laughs> I'm having a day. Sampler Lesson 2, Plum Street Samplers. I love this one. This is on Belfast Raw Linen. 32 count. I thought you were going to fold these patterns for me. Well, then I said I wasn't going to worry about it. And that's where I'm at. That must have been a weekend start also. Either that or I... You might have worked on that a couple more times. Yeah. This was probably a weekend start. Waxing yeah. Moon Designs Patriotic House Trio. Have you seen her new ones? I don't remember what they're called. If they're Patriotic Barns or Liberty Barns. Yes, or... yes. Yeah. I love her trios. Yeah. They're so much fun. And where am I at? That's the bottom. Okay. So that's where I'm at on that one. Are you keeping up? I'm trying okay. to. I'm trying to subtly find my spot in the in the thing. Jamie's looking through my book that, that I log stuff in. <laughs> so she can keep me in line. She's going to have to look up this fabric. Um, Little House Needleworks, Bravehearts. And what is the fabric? It is Fortnite Fabrics 28 Count Hand Dyed. I did not write a name on it, so I don't know. And that is a pretty piece of fabric. And that is the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> if I would have stitched more, I could tell top from bottom, but I can't. That's a roof. Okay, Those so, are windows. So I always start at the bottom, but obviously I started at the top this time. <laughs> She's in for it. You said I was going to keep you in line, right? Yeah, thank God. All right, Lizzie Kate, my to-do list. Did you ever finish this? Not yet. Okay. And I did change the colors, every one of them. Yep. That's where I'm at. Not necessarily because we didn't like the colors, but we were just trying to kit everything up. From our stash. Yeah. Using the colors that we had. Yep. Bobbing for Pumpkins by Brenda Gervais. Nah, I love this one. I do too. That's again upsetting. <laughs> you guys, help me. <laughs> My eyeballs are right upside down today. <laughs> no comment. Okay. Bobbing for Pumpkins. With that needle and thread, I don't remember if you said that. I did say Brenda Gervais. Okay. And I was distracted. Yeah. I love her. Love her little witches. Love her dresses. You know I had to have a Brenda Gervais in my 
Perfume. Numbers. Little House Needleworks, the quilt shop. This is going in my quilt room as soon as I get it done. This is a part of the Hometown Holidays series. And that's where I'm at. That red is pretty. Isn't it? I didn't pull it. I'm not sure what it is. It probably is written in there if you were following along correctly. Let's see. It's Cherry Cobbler. That's, cherry that's cherry Cobbler. <laughs> that's a really good red. It is. Yeah. Um, Basket Full of Summertime by Brenda Gervais with that needle. Love, 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 love that. Those go really fast. All her patterns go really fast. They really do. And of course I had to do the flags first. Mm -hmm. That looks really orange, that flag. In the camera it does. Yeah, it does. But that is the called for. Um, Madam Cottontail. I bent Brenda Gervais with my needle. <laughs> and this is where I'm at. That's grass. <laughs> it's not like baby puke or anything. It's just grass. <laughs> Continue. Um, blessed be by Brenda <laughs> Gervais. This is one you just showed, wasn't it? Mm hmm Okay. So, Good. I started at the bottom. So, if we put ours together, they might be almost done. Yeah. That's really cute. I like mm -hmm. the way that one's turning out, too. That house is really pretty. I think, what is that? Roasted marshmallow, I think. Toasted marshmallow, Toasted, maybe? that, too. If you were looking in the book, I bet it says. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> It's the only one that didn't say. I'm really glad that's the one you picked. <laughs> Waxing Moon Design Search the Sky. This is on 28 count blue spruce. It's a Vigart. Very, very pretty. Very pretty. Right. I love that pattern. This one or that one? That well, all of them, but that one. That one's pretty. Can you do this one for me? Which one? This one. No. Um, Cricut Collection. Summer. Very pink at the moment. Do you think you're gonna change that fabric? Um, I was changing the one in spring, but I haven't really thought about this one. That's because we pulled it out last night. You hadn't thought about it before that. Should I change it? I don't know. I like it on that, but I know that you've been changing all your other ones. To be determined. To be determined. <laughs> this one's funny. All right. Lizzie Kate Snowy String. This one technically is not started. When I started it. It was started. It was started. When I started it, I miscalculated my piece. I have cut it off. But it was going to be two to three inches too short for the pattern with nothing else on the outside of it. Yeah. I don't know what happened. That's where I was. We cut it off like that so there was no question. Yeah. This is where I'm at now. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be quick. But I may want to change that too if that's going to be a Christmas because, I don't know, does that look too harsh for Christmas? I don't know. I mean... You've been changing all your fabrics, really. I have been. I'm kind I of looked getting at, away from the Monaco. I looked at there because you could see the summer string, the buzzy string, but you can't because her head's in the way. There it is. <laughs> Next. I did get a couple of pictures hung. Yeah? No. <laughs> Speaking of heads being in the way, <laughs> that one's got a glare in it. Okay. And that's the sun. 28 count lamb's wool, with chelt linen. Plum Street samplers, bless our land. You're showing all the ones I finally finished. Did I say that was witch help? I don't know. You said it was lamb's wool. Okay. By witch help. Oh, yeah. I could tell the minute I picked it up because it's very stiff. And... You can tell witch help. Yeah. You can tell. Brenda Gervais, coffee first. I wanted this pattern so bad last year and... I started it and didn't finish it, and I can't believe I didn't finish it because I wanted it. You started that so, giant cup. Yeah. On I 40 I think count. I just got bored. It's 40 count, and it's white, and it's a lot of stitches, and I think I just got bored. 
That's Stars Hollowed Blend by r, &R Fabrics. And another cup that I started with, mm -hmm. Witch's Brew by Brenda Gervais. Cute and purple, and I like it. Yep. And that's got to be 40 count because that is tiny. Yep. 40 count Veld Spar Picture Disc Plus. And this one, you showed yours the last video, mm -hmm. right? Well, one of them. Okay, so I'm going to be working on... I didn't grab a particular pattern. I just, I grabbed it for the main okay. picture. So Lizzie Kate Halloween Rolls. And I'm doing it all as one. And that's where I'm at. And what is this fabric, JB? That's the same one that I did mine on, and that's 32 Count Vintage Stormy Night Lugana. I by, love this one. This is by Gart. I like that one. This one. Do you have the fabric name on that one? I failed to write down in my book. Because <laughs> I was testing thread, so I actually didn't consider it a start. But, but it had um, stitches in it, so it's a start. And it doesn't even... Okay, so comparison by mm -hmm. Mariana Oz. It says, comparison is the thief of joy. And it's on Fortnite Fabrics Panther Cap, 32 count even weave. This is a pretty piece of fabric. And I showed you guys this before, but I was just testing that um, floss on it. And this is a DMC variegated yeah. satin, I think, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. Silk or satin. Satin, I think. It's pretty. It separates quite easily, but it's very pretty. And I think it's going to be nice. These are my favorite starts of hers. She's got two more. <laughs> I thought I had these started. I wanted to, to do them in my mania. And then I opened them up and maybe they weren't started as much as I thought they were. Plum Street Samplers. American Sampler. That is a gorgeous pattern. Mm-hmm. And this is a 28 count writ dyed fabric. And there's my non start. <laughs> but Jamie won't let me take it out. No. So it's not a wet, but it's going in. It needs yeah. to be started. And this then one's fun. Happy Scarecrow by Teresa Kogan. Again. Mm -hmm. I thought I had it started. <laughs> we pulled it out. There's nothing there. Nope. But it's going to be great when you do start it. That is a nice piece of variegated <laughs> 28 count Monaco coffee tea bag. So those last two I'll start. So those are our mania plans. Yeah. Mom's were more exciting. She's got stuff to show you. Hopefully I will have some things to to show you when, after mania is done. Yep. Um, I think that is it for cross-stitching. We yep. do have our giveaway today. And we'll get to that here in a little bit. We're going to go through our quilting stuff first, which is not very much. Mm -mm. And then we'll do giveaways. So hopefully you will stick around. Yep. So just this morning I finished my A Very Coriander Christmas Block of the Month. And this is Block 9. Your points are so good. Thank you. I was really happy about the... The checkered, red checkered stuff, how it Line lines up. up very well. Block nine, so I'm coming down the home stretch. Woo -woo. I started cutting out my Forevermore block yesterday by Pam Buddha and didn't get any of it sewn together. So nope. We're going to, we have one quilt we forgot to show you for quite a few weeks now. Uh, Mom and I were working on it together and then I brought it over here and like here, I'm just going to leave it here for a while. And then I came back and it was done. Yeah, she dropped it off on me. <laughs> Two quilts. We're both doing one. Yes. So. Same quilt. 120 each, square. We each get one. Yeah. Yep. You're going to love it, guys. Hold but on. we have shown you the blocks, individual blocks, mm -hmm. at one time, but never the quilt together. So we're going to pause it and pause the video and hold the quilt out and then let yep. you see it. So This pattern is the Labyrinth Walk by the Guilty Quilter. Are you guys ready for this? Look at this quilt. And there's no way we're going to get it all on the screen. No. No way. You can do it in half. This thing is massive, and there are two two quilts. Come this way just a little bit. There you go. Yes. Look at this thing. Oh, I love it. 
So that was a beautiful quilt, right? Yeah, that was. was. Oh, I loved it. Okay. It looked really good in the, the computer and the screen. Yeah, you could really see what the pattern looks like. That was okay. fun to have it done. On to giveaways then. Giveaway. Okay. So our first one was hands-on design. Hop. Hop on in. Hop. Hop. Hop on in. And you had to say hop to win this one. Mm -hmm. um, we did the random comment picker before we started the video. So you don't have to sit through that. Um, but the first one is... Amber Malone. Congratulations. Yep. Yeah, so our email's in the description box <laughs> below. Um, go ahead and send us an email, reach out to us, and we'll go through the other winners still too. But reach out to us, let us know what you won, and give us your address, and we'll be sure to get that shipped out to you. If you don't hear from us in a couple days, feel free, re reach out again. You're not bothering us. We just want to make sure we don't miss your email. You're so much better at explaining things than I am. <laughs> okay, the next one was The Reader by Joan Elliott Designs. And you had to say the reader. Well, you had reader. Reader. Yep. The reader. And this person Jan is? Janata Chinghua. And I'm very sorry if I mispronounced that, but we went through this last video and you said that we did it right, at least your first name. So, Janata, yes. get a hold of us and let us know that you won the reader. Okay. And then the third one. The third one is Ink Circles. Croakworth. <laughs> there were some really good comments on this one. Yeah, there were. And there's actually, did I point this out last time? There's a frog in there somewhere. I don't know. I'm looking at the frog on the back. Are you? Yeah. Okay. So anyway, that's anyway. That's cute. So, so the winner. You had to say croak. Mm -hmm. And the winner of Croakworth is Kimberly O'Boyle. Congratulations, everybody. Yeah. So get a hold of us through um, email and... Let us know. <laughs> we'll, we'll get it out to you as soon as we can. Yep. We'll be sure to do that. Okay. Just checking the notes, see if we're missing anything. I think that's it. Yep. We did mania plans, quilting, did our giveaway. Yes. All right. So you can follow us on Instagram at Cornhusker State Stitcher or Jamie at Jamie Mickelson. Mm -hmm. um, be, be sure to sure. like and subscribe the video. Um, send us any comments that you have. As always, we love reading them. Um, yeah. Thank you. Appreciate it. Yeah. Oh, I did want to say. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, I know there's <laughs> something else. Okay, so I enjoy reading your guys' comments. Um, in order to keep you commenting, please let us know where you guys are from because I'm oh, yeah. very curious to to know. I know we have a lot of Cornhuskers out there, mm -hmm. but I'd like to know where a lot of other people are from that watch. So yep. Just leave us a comment. Let us know where you're from. I know that we've got some from, we've had some from Australia, mm -hmm. um, some from Scotland. Yeah, that's uh, fun. Yeah. Oh, the yeah. Netherlands even. Uh -huh. We've had somebody from, oh, yeah. guys, do you realize how surreal that is to know that people out there are watching you? Yeah. I mean, we're obviously doing this intentionally, so people do watch us, but <laughs> that people even care. I love it. It's amazing. Yeah. So thank you. We do appreciate it. Yes. But yeah, let us know where you're from. And we will go ahead and have another video next week from the cabin, mm -hmm. I think. Yep. Um, I don't know what the internet situation will be, so if we can't upload it on Saturday, we'll upload it when we get back in yep. town. Yep. So. Okay. Well, thanks, guys. Thank you. Bye. Bye.